Hey guys, Tyler here. A new balloons game came out. It's called Balloons Pop. I'm recording this as a bonus video for today because uh, you'll see why. Anyways, I'm gonna get into gameplay here while I kind of explain a little bit of backstory about this. So, 14 years ago, Ninja Kiwi released the game called Balloons. Not Balloons Tower Defense, but Balloons. Most people know this, but it is an original. It's basically the proto brick breaker. The original game and this game is kind of meant to be a modern adaptation of it it's a free mobile only game so some people are already having sort of ideas in their head and you can see by the gameplay that it might even be exactly what you would expected but honestly i'm giving this a fair chance because ninja cube has actually made good free mobile games in the past see balloons super monkey 2 and honestly see the original balloons as well if people enjoyed that game i want to see if this kind of lives up to the image that that game created and I'm honestly just a little bit hopeful that it could be fun, just for like a single video worth. Nothing more, nothing less. So as you can see, the gameplay is relatively simple. You got different monkeys shooting weapons and a stack of balloons. Very much like the original. Not too far out of the picture, except there's a lot more balloons because I'm playing on an iPad rather than uh, a Flash game website. We're going to skip over this part. That was crazy. Ninja Kiwi just told me to gargle their nuts for two minutes straight, which is bold for a kid's game. Now, I have two criteria kind of going into this to judge this because it's a mobile game. One, is it fun? Is the gameplay itself actually fun and not just mind-numbing and a bit of a grind? And two, is it possible to lose? Uh, so this is new to me. If the balloons reach the top of the screen, it's game over. Super Monkey's here. Oh, so I get the idea, right? It's like round-based, so he'll shoot. And then after the shots fire, the balloons will probably move up a layer. This is very typical of mobile games. I've pl played a few mobile games like this before. Um, it is a little bit different because I guess it's balloons and it's the balloons universe. But nothing is too original so far or that enjoyable. Uh, but it does at least look possible to lose if you get extremely unlucky. And actually, they're advancing at a decent rate. It's not the worst thing ever, but it's not the best thing ever. I'll tell you that much. Anyways, can we get a lucky bounce there? Son of a bitch. If this balloon kills me... No, wait, it didn't It didn't move at all? It just... Okay, it just didn't... Okay, I'm gonna hit this in case it decides to move. Just for some reason. If uh, they decide that, oh yeah, we're maybe gonna try to make this hard again. Can I choose between these three? Okay, there's at least a little bit of choice down here. There's a super monkey, bomb shooter, dart monkey. Pick one, it's your goal. You can see the objective in the top right corner. The amount of balloons you have to hit. It also says the amount of shots you have left. I have 11 shots left. I don't know if there's carryover or if the levels are really just that easy. It's marketed as a puzzle game, I should also mention, but let's be real, any mobile puzzle game is not a puzzle game unless it's Monument Valley. This is very much an arcade game. And I was going to say before, Ninja Kiwi has made good mobile free arcade games before. Just look at Balloon Super Monkey 2. I actually played that right before playing this, just to kind of get an idea of a baseline of how to judge this game. And I thought Balloon Super Monkey 2 is actually a lot of fun. It's not a deep and heavy strategy game, but it's a creative arcade game that's possible to lose and good for a toilet session. Now, I'm not going to make any judgment calls about this fully just yet, because we're on level, what, 4? It's supposed to be kind of easy, but... I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if it's actually possible to lose. We could try the lose now challenge, maybe? It might be possible to lose. I mean, if you just never aim at that green balloon there ever, yeah, you probably will lose. But then again, if maybe we'll just be able to pop like 421 balloons before it makes up there. It's so slow. Here, I'll take a super monkey. That one's a little bit better. Let's just ignore it, right? Let's just say hypothetically we ignore the balloon. Are we going to get to 400, just leaving that alone? I mean, there's a lot of balloons on screen. It could happen. There's a Gwendolyn. I wonder if it's going to, like, show me the line and be like, wait, you're not supposed to play this bad. Oh, uh, but, you know, it's got the heroes and all that. A bouncing Gwendolyn. Oh, my God, we're popping the balloon. Stop it. Stop it. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm going to go off on a limb and say I definitely cannot lose here. I tried, too. I, I, I really tried. Anyone with a brain can say, all right, I guess I have to aim at these. <laughs> there's, there's no other option unless you want to snipe, like, the two balloons at the very bottom. 
Oh, it's the spike ball things from the original Balloons game. Nice. Yeah, I recognize those. You break them and then they will, yeah, basically become powers and they're popping the balloons there. I bet they would have happened even if I didn't target the above area. So we beat it with 17 shots of the go. I want to think, in the original balloon game, I'm going to press next. In the original balloon game, I have to imagine that, oh my god. <laughs> go fuck yourself. There wasn't more than like eight or nine shots for a level, yeah? And the early one started you off with like three shots because, you know, they were early stuff. Up, oh, hold on, wait, they got the semen shooter. Let's at least explore this dude. He pogos around and gets as much as he can. Nice. You know what, let's do round two. Some sickos out there would love to keep seeing this. It's me, I'm the sicko. I mean, I am playing this game, so there is probably the like cause for mental derangement here. I have 21 shots left over. Imagine getting through 21 more shots and still not beating this. I don't think a child could fail this. Wow, what a surprise! They put the entire game of Balloons Super Monkey 2 inside of Balloons Pop. Well, I misjudged this game. It's actually quite fun. Balloon Super Monkey 2, it's been out for a while. It's legitimately free on the phone store of all phones. And it's actually pretty hard. I've already missed one of the possible goals for, um, for levels. You can see in the top right corner, there's diamond and gold and silver and all that. We've already missed out on diamond. And this is a bit more of a game with a bit more decision making. You actually gotta chase around the balloons, have decent reaction time, and kind of make your choice, kind of catching these little blop things the balloons pop. And then, what's kind of neat is that after each level, these blops you buy are just the normal currency that you to buy, um, use to buy upgrades. It, it, there's no, like, unique currency that you can only get through microtransactions or watching ads or letting time go by. Like, this is the actual in-game currency that's just a normal currency-behaving thing. It simply it lets you pick a bunch of upgrades and maybe use, like, a little bit of your brain to calculate, like, what upgrade's the best for which scenario. So you could have different balloons that you pop and different types of balloons that you pop and different amounts of power. And of course, I mean, it has the mobile game Razzle Dazzle of some shiny stuff popping up on the screen. I mean, you can't be a mobile game without that. I'm not going to fault a mobile game for doing something like that. But the gameplay itself is actually quite fun. So, you know, hats off to Ninja Kiwi for making a pretty good game here. This is probably... Oh my god. <laughs> it, shiny stuff. I mean, it's, it's fun. There's more control. You are the super monkey. It feels more powerful. And also, this is just an early game level. I've missed out on gold because honestly, I'm just not skilled enough. And there's some actual hard stuff in this game, like hard levels and boss fights and legitimate stuff that I know for a fact you can lose on. Good job on Ninja Kiwi for making just a good game. Fun for the family. I could see a lot of range, a large range of people playing this game. Young kids, old kids, honestly, even adults if they're just kind of sitting around on the toilet at work not really having too much else to do. Wow, this is great. I sure hope my boss doesn't fire me. You know what I also noticed? Every time I switch like to this game, the uh, resolution gets smaller on my display capture for the iPad. And I thought for a while that was just a bit of a glitch, but no, I think the reason is that this game just has a lower resolution than their other games or other mobile games. I, I can't say this for sure. It, it also just might be a glitch, so uh, take it with a grain of salt, but I'm pretty sure we're looking at a lower resolution here. There is one good aspect about this game, and I think there's something to say about that because Ninja Huey's been at least consistent about this. It's not pay to win. Because it's impossible to fucking lose. <laughs> that being said though, it legitimately could get harder. Like, I don't know this for sure. I think I'm like my own time. I'm gonna play through a bunch of levels of this and just see what happens. Just to see, oh, it's an actual challenge now. Right, I've been playing for a while, and I'm disappointed to say it hasn't gotten too much harder. Uh, snark aside, I think my honest review of the game is that it's just too easy? It feels too slow, and you lack a lot of agency. As opposed to games like Bloom Super Monkey 2, you're always doing something, you need reaction time, you maybe need to use your brain a little. This, I mean, maybe you also need to use your brain a little, but you're not really doing too much besides deciding where to aim, and I think it doesn't really set itself apart too much from the other games, despite 
the fact that it's just the balloons characters, which nobody plays the balloons games for their characters. People play it because it's a good tower defense game. It's obviously not a game for me, which I can respect, but I think on my toilet adventures, wow. I will be playing more Balloons Super Monkey 2 or Balloons TD6. I, I would respect either of those. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys all tonight in the real video and peace.